What's going on guys, Sachi is here, welcome to this amazing 400k squad builder on my channel today. This team is unreal, probably, well definitely one of my best teams that I've used in FIFA 14. And if you guys have got 400k uh, spare or just have 400k, go and try this team out. It is a very, very nice team, can hold itself in Division 1 very well. And yeah, there's there's literally no weakness in this team. So let's get straight on with this and let's start off with the goalkeeper. And we have got Petacek, in my opinion, the best goalkeeper in this game for sure, easily. Well, it, the best um, non-informed card, let's say, probably like Team of the Season Neuer or Team of the Season Check is better. But um, for a rare gold card, he is amazing. Moving to the two centre-backs who are OP as hell. Firstly, we have got David Luiz, of course. You know, if you're going to have checking goal, you need that Chelsea centre-back. And it's going to have to be David Luiz. OP is shit, as we all know. And the other centre-back, we're actually going to go down here. All the way down here, Felipe Santana with his 81 pace. What a god this guy is. He is so, so strong. He's pretty much the Bundesliga David Luiz. He's just so, so strong. And yeah, it's really, really hard to get past these two. Very fast and very, very OP. Um, the left back, uh, we do have, who is it? Alaba. Um, obviously gets that link with Santana. Very strong left back. Very good going forward. Very good defensively. And the right back, probably actually one of the worst players in this team. Even though he's very good, he's probably one of the worst players. It is uh, Walker right there. Um, defensively, he's not the greatest, but he's very good um, getting forward. So I do like him a lot. Uh, moving on to the three centre mids. Now, we went with a 4-3-2-1, which is a formation I haven't used in FIFA before. Um, you can use this team as a 4-3-3, actually, and it still works very, very well. I prefer the 4-3-2-1 because of the attack. But really, it doesn't matter. I've tried that as a 4-3-3 and it works very nicely still. So, anyways, moving to the three centre mids. Firstly, well, they're, well, they're all three centre mids. So, firstly, we've got Ramirez, um, 88 pace. Uh, yes, he has high, high work rates. But because he's got 88 pace, he can track back very, very well. Um, the other centre mid is De Bruyne. You know, he's a non-rare card, but he is beastly as hell. Very strong in game, I find. You know, he doesn't seem to be the tallest of players. 5 for 11. But he's very strong. 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves. Very, very impressive player. If you look at those stats overall with him, 46 games, 28 goals. That's very nice for a CM slash Cam. And the other centre mid is going to be Gustavo. Look, this team is OP as hell, guys. You can see every player in this team is OP in this game. Um, you know, Gustavo played so, so many games with him. Um, he's really, really good. He's re kind of like Ramirez, to be honest. He's very strong. Um, obviously, he's not as fast as Ramirez, but he's still got 75 pace, which is very good for a centre mid. And finally, the three players up top. This is how I base my team around. So, firstly, the left forward is Marco Royce. Very, very nice player. Um, I've tried his team of the season out at left mid. I didn't like it because, I uh, know I just don't like... Him as a left mid. As a left forward, very, very nice. He makes so many good runs. He did manage to get six goals and four assists in 11 games. However, I did get uh, uh, disconnected by EA from one game. So I think that's around about seven or eight goals. But yeah, he's a very, very strong player. He works perfectly with the striker. That is not a gold player, guys. It is not a gold player. There you go, Malapa. Haven't used him in FIFA before, but oh yes, he is amazing. He's pretty much the silver Ibarbo for me. Um, very, very strong player. He's good at chesting down chip through balls, which is something I like to abuse a lot. Eight goals, five assists. Again, might be nine goals and five assists. I'm not sure, but um, because obviously they get disconnected in one game. But he is a very, very nice player. And I bought him for 42.5k when he was at 80k bin, um, which was an amazing trade. I think he's like at 50k now. I don't know why he was at 80k, but... Yeah, he is amazing. And finally, the most expensive player in this team, in form Sherler. Now, he for sure isn't the best player in this team. Yes, he's the most expensive. He cost me 290k. Um, but only four goals, two assists. You know, I don't know. I kind of struggled with him a little bit. Yes, he's all right. But for sure, Royce was a lot better on the other side. So overall, this team is OP as hell. Guys, go buy it. For sure, it, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. There's no weakness in this team. So let's get on with some gameplay. 
So just to let you know guys, I actually only lost two of the 11 games that I did play with this team. Um, most, well, nearly all those games were actually in Division 1. So to only lose two, I feel that's pretty decent. You know, I'm not the best FIFA player. Um, I normally do struggle when I try out new teams. Um, but yeah, I just felt at home with this team. I might actually keep this team as well and keep playing with it. Um, because it really was a solid team. Like, I, you know, my tactic a lot of the time was to kick the ball out um, with check. And to get it up to Malapa so he could try and header it. And then Royce and Sherlock were always making good runs. Just like Royce did right there. And he tucked that one away. It, it, it was a very good strategy. And we scored plenty of goals um, through that strategy pretty much. And I would advise you guys try that out as well. Also, through balls seem to be very... Uh, chip through balls seem to be very, very OP right here. Because Malapa is so good at chesting things down, um, getting it on his feet, and then put it in the back of the net. Look at this, uh, very aids goal, but showing his strength again, Malapi. You know, he's an all-round brilliant player. Um, I do wish he had a little bit more pace. He feels a little bit slow sometimes in game, but when you've got Royce and Scherler as a left forward and a right forward, um, it doesn't really matter too much because they're always making runs. Look at that again, Malapa getting the header, winning the header, Royce is away, and he tucks it into the back of the net. Now, the thing with Schurler, Inform Schurler, is he, he is needed pretty much for chemistry reasons. Um, I would suggest playing someone else, but I don't really know who you could actually play there because he, he is from Chelsea, so he links with the midfield, and he's he's German, so he links with Malapa and Royce. So, you know, he, he does cost quite a bit, and he's certainly not worth the coins. Look at that save from Czech, unreal. Um, just had to add that one in. But yeah, this team overall is OP as hell, guys. Do try it out. The midfield, um, all three players are OP in this game. Very, very solid players as, as CMs. I normally play De Bruyne as a Cam and Gustavo and Ramirez as the CDMs. But they all work perfectly fine as um, CMs. They all seem to get into the attack. Um, and, you know, certainly Ramirez and Gustavo are very, very good defensively. And that leads me finally to the defense, which is unreal. Like, Louise and Santana are unreal. I, I don't know how they're so OP, but they're so strong. Santana's so tall. Like, he literally is is the perfect center back. He's got 81 pace, and he's strong as hell. So thank you for watching, guys. Please do leave a like and subscribe. Go try this team out. It is unreal. Um, I'm sure you guys will like it and if you're trying to win Division 1, this is a very good team to you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.